You know, very intelligent materially, but his, his intelligence is very crooked. That will do the instruction of a special master. He will suit his own purpose. I'll take class. Sorry. So I'm going to tell you. He showed us the effect of being a tech class disciple who chose the interest of the special master to, to fit him with what he wants. A disciple is not doing that. A body part is not doing that. A body disciple is not doing that. You shouldn't twist it, you shouldn't change it. We should not try to adjust Krishna's concept of it with our own nature. We should adjust our own nature to fit in with the process of Krishna's consciousness. <coughs> if we are pure, we will not have a sense of because we are pure. Yeah. But because we are not pure, we don't have to change it, we should fall in exactly. So the Manuja Chari will try to make his disciples. And at the point, here in the river, he sat down with the Sabbath himself. Then he took some, he took some Pasada, and then the Maha Pasada, from what he was eating, he threw his head in water. The disciples were watching him. He didn't give it to the disciples as usual. Usually, the disciples are watching for the special master of the Mahamas. But this time, the Mahamaja Chela drew the Mahamas and into the river. The fish caught up as adults, ate it. Instantly, they would have four hands and chewed it. Went back to the Bible. The disciples were watching. What is this? Fish. The fish in the mode of ignorance, not passion, not goodness. Took Maha Prasada how many times? Once. And? Back to God. No Sadam. There is no 69 for 10 years, for 30 years, for 50 years. <laughs> Oh, four class disciples. 
For Christ to say, will never follow anything. <laughs> Even though he has taken the decision, he has promised and will follow this, everything perfectly. He was a disciple. <clears throat> One disciple. Two decisions. And after some time, he wrote a letter to the special master. Good day, can I keep three principles? <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm a student, you know, I'm a student. Can I keep three principles? What about the second time? <laughs> what did you promise when you took a decision? Three principles? How many? Oh. So that time you didn't know you're a student? The time you're promising guru, you didn't know you're a student? You didn't know you have such and such situations? Right? right. Why three principles after initiation? <coughs> Then another disciple wrote, Guru Day, what is illicit sex? After initiation, this question is asked, not before initiation. <laughs> and then you will take initiation after she had been in the movement for 10 years. <coughs> after 10 years of being a devotee, she got initiated. And after initiation, <coughs> asking what is illicit sex. I told her you know, already broken principle, which was correct. Asking this means what? She already broken the principle. <coughs> so I told her that hey, you have already broken the principle. And I actually made you this, this is nonsense. Why didn't you ask about this and say you don't do this issue? Who forced you to take it? Promise 
before persons who are ready to help us. The special master has volunteered. I want all of us here to read Bhagavatam. <coughs> Disciples, let me read Bhagavatam. Come to 8, chapter 4, text 15. So Prophet clearly explained the purpose. Come to 8, chapter 4, text 15. 15. 8, 4, 15. 15. Because of simple activities at night, we have bad dreams which are very troublesome. Indeed, Maharaj was obliged to see her because of a slight deviation from the devotional service to the Lord. <coughs> Therefore, do shut now. Bad dreams occur because of sinful activities. A devotee sometimes accepts a sinful person as his disciple. And to counteract the sinful reactions he has said from the disciple, he has to see a bad dream. Nonetheless, the special master is so kind that in spite of having bad dreams due to the sinful disciple, he has said this troublesome business. What is that? What is troublesome business? Accepting disciple is what? Troublesome business. business. So is that the reason why we should take the system from the special master? To get him in trouble? Is that love? Is that sign of appreciation? Is that appreciation? Is that love? No. We want our special masters to stay long with us. We want him to live daily. Huh? We want our special masters to live on eh? on timely or we want him to stay long time with us. Yes, long time. Therefore, what should we do? What should we do? Just to say it in the class. We should follow the principles we have promised. We should follow the vows we have taken. We should do what? Follow the vows we have taken. It is not just a ceremony to come and see the fight. What is <coughs> what how many places we are going to keep? Blah, 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 blah. How many are going to chant? Blah, blah, blah. The name is Gasa. The name is Gasa. One take out television. It's finished. Bye bye. <laughs> it's not like that. So now, my name is already in the fire, so I can do what I want. No. Guru Dakshina, the Guru Dakshina of a disciple, is not the money we have gone to collect, come and submit to Guru. That is external Guru Dakshina. The internal and, and permanent Dakshina of a disciple is to keep the vow that we have taken during the session. That is the Dakshina. Not the money. That 
that I will be able to as I will keep and I'm keeping, I will keep the vows I have taken for my life. That is Dakshina. Not the money. That is external. So we should keep our vows that we have taken. Not to give trouble to this person master. What is your friend this person master have committed that we have to punish him in this way? What is your friend? That what had desired to take a sin which we have been committing since time to memorial. Somebody agree. Give it to me. <coughs> is that an offense? My special master? Is that an offense? So we should keep the, the principle. We should keep it. Because we have taken the vow. Nonetheless, the spiritual master is so kind that in spite of having bad dreams due to the sinful disciple, he has set this troublesome business for the deliverance of the victims of Kalimba. After initiation, therefore, a disciple should be, should be extremely careful. A disciple should Extremely careful. Extremely careful. careful not to commit again any sinful act that might cause difficulty for himself, herself, and the spiritual master. That is a disciple. That is a disciple. In this, in, in, in the Nectar of Devotion, <coughs> first chapter, the first chapter is characteristics of pure devotional sex. Right from the beginning, Knesset Agni, so what are the the purpose? A devotee should be very, very alert, the same statement to be alert, never to repeat our previous symptoms. Here again, the proper educating is something. We should be extremely careful not to put ourselves as special master and the whole community of vice masters in the world. Alright? So, to support us, to help us to come to a higher level of Krishna consciousness as a disciple. We want to look at a few things that will help us to become the first class disciple that the whole universe will appreciate. The whole universe will appreciate. A devotee is not just by yourself or us. The devotee is like a tree for everyone. The devotee is like a water for tree. everyone. Water is for everyone. Tree is for everyone. No discrimination. That is a devotee. So to help us come to this level, we want to look at a few things that will make us a first class disciple. So one, every disciple, every devotee should or most deeply value the importance of strict sadhana. Have we first chance to see them before 6.18 Have we first chance to see them before 6.18 in the how many devotees here chance to see them before 6 30 in the morning? Every morning. 6 30, 6 30 before 6 30. Every morning. Please. Please help me. I'm asking you. Please help me. How many of us here 
chance is near under the force 680. 780 and 1. 780. 780 and 1. We are paying 1600. Every day. Put the hand on it. Put the hand on it. You should be proud. I'm happy. 1600 and 780 and 1. Okay. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Thank you very much. Thank you. All of us should come to this level. All of us should come to this level as certainty our sincere should be completed. Strict sadhana. Every devotee should value the importance of strict sadhana. Strict sadhana. Strict means no compromise. It's very important. We should value this. We should value the importance of strict sadhana. If we want to become a first class disciple, or we want to be first class disciple, we will make a job. First class disciple. Yeah, disciple, disciple. I don't know any any person who would like to have zero in his exam or an exam. Anyone here would like to have? <laughs> <laughs> right? Everybody would like to have 100 percent. Right? 100 percent. So to have 100 percent in our exams, we need to put effort in our practice. We should sacrifice all the gratifications. Sacrifice all the gratification for something higher, and that is austerity. That we are sacrificing our lower nature for a higher nature. That is austerity. So every devotee should do what? Value the importance of strict sadhana. It is compulsory, not an option. It's not an option, it's compulsory. Why? We have already decided. Is it only Islam that is a religion in Mauritius? Is it only Islam that is a religion in Mauritius? Eh? Is it only Islam a religion in, in Mauritius? No. There are many here, right? Yes. So why do we choose Islam? Out of all of them, why do we choose Islam? Eh? Why do we choose this one? It's the best. It's the best. So let us become what? The best. The best. Let us become the best. <coughs> we have chosen this one. It's our choice. We have made our choice. So what is wrong to do what is necessary for us to become the best? The best. What is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? It is an imposition. It's okay, we are imposing me. I don't want to do it. They are imposing me. But this is a case. We have made the choice of taking to this imposition. It's our choice. We made it. So, what is wrong for us to do the right thing, to become that wonderful personality that the whole world is looking for? In the whole world, everything is available. The only thing which is missing is a few devotees. And Papa has stretched the society to make few devotees. And we have made a choice to take the big process of becoming pure devotees. Therefore, for us to get to this point, there is an absolute necessity for every one of us to value the importance of strict sadhana. Alright? That is number one. We must deeply value the importance of strict sadhana. To get there, it is required. Every devotee, all of us, all of us are devotees, disciples. This is what we are expecting. This is the expectation of the spiritual master. 
This is the expectation, the spiritual master for all devotees. We want this. We should know the essential virtue of chastity. You understand chastity? To be chaste. You understand that? <clears throat> we should know the essential virtue of chastity. We must be loyal to the Guru Parampara and we should never search anything outside Krishna consciousness. That is just a thing. That we are not talking from this society, that society. What do you think? Sai Baba. We should we should be chased. We should be chased. Let us be chased. There is no room for spiritual prostitution. We should be chased. This society, that organization, this organization, this organization. Now so many this country what is that living this country to join that society, that society. But we go to know no society from this country. We never know them before. Is this one that opened our eyes to know all that Babaji, all this Swami, all this person? We go to know them from this one. Yes. We should be chased. We should be loyal to the Prabhupada, Parampara, the Guru. We should be loyal. We should be loyal. Yes. No prostitution. Yes. 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 It's with Loya. We should appreciate what Sapata has given to us. We should appreciate it. He took pain. He on the basic, yeah, difficulties in the sea, it, it, on the way, apart from the suffering he passed through in India, just on the way between India and Europe, he <coughs> suffered a severe heart attack. So put Papa made the body in the sea. What happened? Mission is not accomplished. Mission is not accomplished. What about his body? What happened to his body? He was going to the water. Who knows him there? His disciple is there in the ship. His wife is there. His children are there. His disciples are there. Brothers, sisters, and brother, father, they are there. Nobody is there. He's alone. So if something has happened there, what would happen to his body? Ship to the ship. Finished. He risked his life. So he was this one. This is mine. So we should be loyal to the sacrifice he has made. We should be loyal to this organization. He made sacrifice. He suffered. And to appreciate the sacrifice Papa has made for us is to jump from this society to that society, to go and hear that swan, 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 to go and hear that swan. That is for the vision of the of the No. We should know the essential virtue of chastity. We must be loyal to Guru Parampara and we should never search anywhere. If it is Krishna, we are looking for. And Papa has made that available. Krishna Balaram will give us Krishna consciousness. It's sufficient. To give us Krishna and to make anyone a pure devotee. Papa said, if you stick to this process, stick to this process, you become successful. There is no doubt about it. As some say, I have. Is it clear? Hmm? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I want to. Because of our condition in Christian consciousness, because of the knowledge we have got in this Christian consciousness by the message that all of us, we should fearlessly preach Christian consciousness philosophy. And Papa said, 
There is no way a disciple can pay the spiritual master. There is no way he can pay. So, Papa said, if you want to appreciate what I have done for you, then you should preach vigorously as I'm doing. It's a sign that Papa has given to us. In the Sastra, it is said that when a good leaves the body, all the disciples will die with him. Yes. When the spiritual master leaves the body, first class disciples, they say they are 10 classes, second class, and fourth class. The first class disciples will die with the body. Because they will not be able to tolerate the pains of salvation. As you said, the stand who one of them, he wanted to throw the principle. All of that, he was stopped. Why he was stopped? The only thing that we beg not to do that is to preach Christian consciousness. That's the only qualification that will, will make a disciple to remain alive after the demise of his guru. Otherwise, he should die. If you have no project for a guru, we should live with him. So we should fearlessly preach Christian conscious philosophy to the people in general. We should defend the principles of pure bounty. What is the other question? I have a proper request. Every disciple, I request every devotee in this movement to donate 200 gallons of their blood to maintain the purity of this movement. Then sacrifice every devotee has to make to be empowered. So do what? Preach what? Fearlessly. Yeah? Philosophy of Christian consciousness. Do what? And you want to do To fearlessly also defend the principles of your fact. This assignment you have. So if we are keeping two principles, how are we going to get the potency to, to fearlessly preach? No. And maintain the potency of this movement? We are establishing a dharma. We don't follow the dharma. Where will be the potency to preach fearlessly? So let us look into our life. Listen, listen to me very carefully. All of us devotees, let us listen, look very carefully. Just listen, listen very carefully to your heart. Look to your heart. Any difficulty that we have, we can put our faith sincerity in following the principles of the a bona fide disciple will have no material anxiety. A bona fide disciple will have only special anxiety. How to preach this consciousness? That's special anxiety, not material frustration. A bona fide disciple has. Spiritual anxiety, not material anxiety. Is it clear? Our material is clear? Right? We must offer puja to the holy deities with punctuality, cleanliness, great respect, care, and according to authorized process. Authorized process. We must offer puja to the holy deities with punctuality, cleanliness. Great respect, care, and according to the authorized process. That means our system has no room for speculation. We should know why we put every single thing we are doing in this movement. We should know why we are doing everything. Why we are worshiping those in the Who is it? Tiny three. 
<laughs> people run around here every morning. What is this? We should know it. We should know it. Why you do chamara or this one? Why you why you offer incense? Why you ring there? We should know everything. We should know everything. Why we do everything? Therefore, that will help us to have respect for what we're doing. We should know the deities are not spirits. The deities are directly Krishna. Therefore, you have respect. No room for speculation. You have philosophy to back everything that we do. associate with opposite gender only for essential services and not for serious gratification. Our association should be based on service occasion and not on serious gratification. A devotee should never have any material association. Our association should be based on service occasion. You see what Robert has done for us? When a condition should look at any object, what comes to the mind? When everybody see anything, what comes to our mind? Well, yes. What can I take from you? Exploit. What is there? What can I take from you? This is how our society is functioning. Cheating. I don't care for me. I don't care for you. But what I can get from you, that is the basis of our relationship. So that I can transform that. How did you do that? Physically, practically, graphically. How did brother do that? To give. Huh? To give. To give what? Yes, they are correct. They are correct. To give what? Hmm? See, when we go to the street, what do we do? When you see a person, what do you do? Take a book. Is it not? Yes. What is that? What are you doing? We are changing our consciousness from seeing somebody for my Take own. Him. Said, then you see, you giving you good means, means what? I am caring for you. So the relationship I have between based on your welfare, not about me. This is what Papa did for us. He had change our consciousness. That should be the basis of our relationship. For a devotee who wants to be successful in this process, we should maintain this process. Our association should be based on helping each other to become Krishna conscious, not based on exploitation. That is not Krishna consciousness. Krishna consciousness means you. So, Prophet gave a society of giving, not taking. Our Monday society is what? Society of taking. Taking. This is cheating society. Taking. Whenever you see anything, anything at all, we see, oh, look at that beautiful flower, it's good for me. <laughs> it's really, yes. you know how to preach from Yes. <laughs> well, Robert has changed that consciousness. You wonder, once a devotee sees a flower, oh, this is very good for Krishna. He goes to Krishna. Okay. So, Robert changed our consciousness. Jai Robert. That is the relationship with what he should have. In every relation, in every association, this should be the concept to maintain. So, in other words, Prophet has given us a Vaikuntha environment, not a mundane environment. And Prophet is falling in the footsteps of Krishna. Krishna did that by two, two times in the tenth time of Bhagavatam, Krishna swallowed fire. He two or one? Two, right? What does it mean? Krishna swallowed fire, what is the meaning of that? Finish, finish, huh? finish the problem of his devotees. Quarreling among devotees. Quarreling among devotees, Krishna put it off. Therefore, we shouldn't bring quarreling into 
this bureau of society. Two times special pages, killing the demon of anarchy. Quarreling conflict among people, Jesus Christ swallowed it up so that we can practice Christian consciousness amicably. So we shouldn't bring it back. <clears throat> so, Papa, following that footstep, he established society consciously with every facility to help us maintain what Christian has given. He changed our consciousness. He created a society by contact consciousness. Hmm? What, is, what is written there? See, seven points of Christian. What is written in the last one there? What is written there? Can you read it for us? That's the last one there. Yeah, the one before you went through there. What is it written there? To be ranked for the members and for society at large, a holy place of transcendental pastimes dedicated to the personality of Krishna. Is it true here? Is it true? Does that fit this environment? No. Huh? Not true. That's telling me, does it fit this environment? No, not true. Yes, what do you mean? Can you hear it? Read it again. <laughs> Read it. To be ranked for the members. So, does it fit this environment? Yes. 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 This environment is not for quality. Is it written there? Is it written there? Quality is written there? Huh? No. So, we shouldn't bring it here. We shouldn't bring it here. In other words, we should try to, this thing we mentioned, to be a real friend in a very, very dangerous, it's a risky position. No fight. Position is very risky because you can easily make offense to anybody for the answer. And that will destroy our life. So we will try to remain ourselves at least on the second platform. <coughs> second platform is simple. Because from there we can go to a good place. And then go to the first class. So that is what proper have established. Number six, disciples should be humble, menial servants at heart. Disciples should be humble, menial servants at heart, expecting nothing in return, while being ready to offer all respect to others. Wait, body, mind, and the soul in the service of <coughs> you and Krishna. I repeat it. Disciples should be humble, menial servants at heart, expecting nothing in return for the service which we render. While being ready to offer our body, the mind, and soul in the service of Guru and Krishna. What is, what is mania in keeping grudge with another body? What is, where is mania? In that, where is mania amassing when we keep malice, love, with another deity who is chanting the Krishna mantra? It is very risky, very, very risky and dangerous. The service which we render to Guru and Krishna is to be done. With our body, with the mind, and the soul. We should be one with the same, we should be one with what we do. What we do, we should, we should do them with feelings. We should be done with feelings, not just service mechanically, just to finish it, not just chanting, just to complete the number. 
this will be done with feeling because all of these things are services we are offering and we are going to be joy based on what we offer to Krishna. Seven, disciples will scrutinizingly, scrutinizingly, disciples will scrutinizingly learn, comprehend, and deeply apply the proper books in our personal life. In our personal lives, we should scrutinizingly learn, comprehend, and deeply apply the proper books in our personal lives. How many of us read Bhagavad Gita every day? How many of us see the word to his three power data every day? How many of us read Bhagavad Gita every day? Please, let me see. How many of us read Bhagavad Gita every day? I'm not talking of Bible, I'm not talking of Quran. I'm talking of Bhagavad Gita, which is our own book. Yes, it's our own book. I'm not asking about Bible, Bible, Bible or Quran or Torah. I'm asking about Bhagavad Gita. How many of us read our book, our scripture of Bhagavad every day? One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Only eight? The hand is off? Okay, nine. This is not good. How do we expect to be Christian conscious? One we don't know. How can I press this? Huh? <clears throat> we should read Bhagavad Gita every day. We should read Bhagavad Gita every day. Every day. We should read Baba Gita every day. Let us read Baba Gita every day. Is it offense? The economies, the reading and newspaper every day. <laughs> yeah, you call them economies. <laughs> but they are reading their scripture every day. Transcendentalists are not reading their books every day. How transcendental are we? How is that transcendental? How is that transcendent? It's when we are not reading our scripture every day. How are we going to become Christian conscious when we don't know what is inside our Gita? The Christian is teaching our Gita for our benefit. So it is our duty to read this every day. So if I want to not print this book for just to say. It is not just to say. Number eight. Disciples will learn the prominent standard of cleanliness and punctuality. We should learn. We should learn what? Cleanliness and punctuality. That's the biological quality. Be clean and be punctual. To be clean and punctual. Nine. I will let you left, so I'll finish it. Don't worry. I'll be on time. <laughs> Are you on time? Number nine. You should know how to cook very nice yourself. You should 
appreciate what you have done by following them. Nice. Our only benefit is our own good. Right? Questions? Yes, sir. The last thing you mentioned, the, the 10, 10 uh, last one, the last level of love, trust, and love in mm. So, how can, can we do that? Mm. In practical terms. That yes, is? Telling Hare Krishna, very nice hugging each other, but we don't come forward to help. How can we do that? Yes, very good. It is in my mind, but I'm of Russian, so thank you. <laughs> See, if I want you to trust me, I should be, I should be trustworthy. I shouldn't expect you to offer me respect when I'm not behaving respectfully. I shouldn't. So if, if I want you to respect me, I should help you by behaving nicely. So it is the responsibility of every one of us to make this sacrifice. I want you to trust me, I should behave nicely. My, my dealings should be transparent. I, I, I shouldn't think that you are a fool, you are a robot, that I can just misbehave and at the same time I want you to glorify me. It will not work like that because you are aggressive, you have feelings, you are thinking, and I see what I'm doing. So we have to help each other by acting nicely. We should help each other. Let us help each other. I don't want you to be blaspheme me. Then I should not act in a way that you blaspheme me. Let people by their nature, they are already envious. Let them blaspheme us out of their envy. But we shouldn't encourage anyone to blaspheme us or to offend us. We shouldn't by acting whimsically. That is not good for us. We should act properly. So that people who die by themselves, do their do to their own envy. We should not <coughs> encourage their envy. If we do that, we will participate in their <laughs> in their sinful nature. Mm -hmm. hmm? It's very important. If, if if I if I want you to to have trust in me, I want I want you to be friendly with me. I want you to trust me, to love me. I should do the same to you. Christian told the purchasers. Hmm? The Christian told the purchasers. As four cantos, man, or canto four, chapter 10, text number 8. I'm sure. I'm sure, right? Am I correct? But what am 438? Yeah. Check it out. So not about what time? And to 438. And to 4, chapter 20, text 8. Yes. yes. <coughs> We're teaching about what I'm trying to know. You should know what it is. So, so here, Christian is telling the purchasers two times. I am pleased with you. I am pleased with you. Why? They are friendly behavior. They are friendly behavior. Two times, two times. Excuse me, you have seen it? 438. You have seen it? Read it. Read it. Read it, Read it. Read it. Read it. Supreme personality of God has My dear son, of the king, I am very much pleased by the friendly relationship among you. That is one. Yes. All of you are engaged in one occupation, mm -hmm. devotional service. Yes. I am so pleased. See, two times. Yes. Right. I am so pleased with your mutual friendship. Yes, two times. That I wish you all good fortune. Yeah. Now give me ask a benediction of me. Yes. Ask me for any benediction. Because I'm pleased. Because I'm ready to give anything. Because it's please. Read it properly. Read it very loud. Since the sons of King Prachina Varishat were all united in Krishna consciousness, they are what? United. They are united in Krishna consciousness. So I am supporting you, are supporting me. So it's natural for me to love you, to love me, to trust you, and you trust me. They are friendly. But you, you, 
Two of us have been asked to take this to see to that corner and walk the room. I'm very impressed. Have to go. You will take it alone. Tomorrow I'll do the same thing. Next time I'll do the same thing. Will you trust me? It's not right. Well, I'm not cooperating with you. I'm not creating a room for trust, for love, for friendliness. So it will not work. So Papa said what? The Lord was very pleased with them. Yes. But each and every one of the sons of King Prachina Barishad was an individual soul. Wait, wait, wait. Like 
example, we say at the Krishna, they turn their face away. Please be that. <laughs> yes, if you greet someone and he does not answer you, please ask the person, and you have done something with the person, you don't have to So ask the person why that is happening. If the person explain to you, hey, you should pray for forgiveness of the person. And if the person refuses to tell you, to tell you, then you should still pray for forgiveness of the person and continue to pray the person. We should do our part and let the person do his or her part. Because we are going to be judged by the thing which we do, not by the thing which other people do. So we should do our part. We should greet the person from our nice if the person has said, it's okay, you can accept that, it's okay, that's the person of the Jewish world, you want to be cut off by other people's houses. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.